All right, y'all, I'm back. K99, Bottom Theory TV. Um, I'm not going to do a hip-hop wars on this one. This one, I'm just going to share a story with y'all because I I noticed I noticed that I have like a lot of stories that I could share. Um, and uh, I like telling stories, you know. My bad for like telling stories. But this one, uh, I'm going to do because... Uh, the homie Shock G passed recently. Rest in peace to Shock G. And um, this is a funny story to me, at least. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I lived in Ohio and I lived in Georgia. At this particular time, I was in Ohio, living in Ohio. Uh, so they booked Shock G. They, they booked Digital Underground to come perform. Uh, I forgot the name of the club. I think it was Headliners in Toledo, Ohio. I think it was headliners. If I got you wrong, my bad. But uh, me and my homie, uh, his girl, I think it was just us three there that day. It might've just been us three. So we go to the show. I uh, forgot how much it cost to get in or whatever. But they had beer for a quarter. I don't even drink beer, but it was a quarter. So, uh, I wanted to get lit. So I was drinking beer that day. And the only time beer gets me drunk is if I like try to drink it all real fast. Because if I don't, I won't finish it and then it'll just go to waste and I'll just, my stomach will just be hurting for nothing. So, I was drinking a lot of that shit, trying to get drunk. Now, me and my homie, we sitting outside, uh, and it's like this, 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 this wooden gate. Um, I say it was probably about seven feet tall, something like that. But there's, there's, there's this section of the patio where you could go up a little bit, so the gate won't be so high on the one side. It'd be like, it'd be high on on the opposite side of it, but on the side we was on, we could like look over it without a problem. We like right up there, so. We out there just chilling, not expecting this. So Shock G, Money B, those ones I recognize. Shock, well, let's just say Digital Underground pulled up. So they pulled up, you know what I'm saying? They get out the van or whatever. Now at this time, me and my homie, we on some real Oakland shit. Like we we E40'd out. We like real, you would think we was from the Bay back then because we was fucking with the Bay hard, hard. And uh, at that time, they everybody's talking about cat piss you know what i'm saying and, and if you don't know what cat piss is it's, it's a certain kind of weed that they had back then you probably still got it now but um they were smoking cat piss and that's all we used to talk about is cat piss cat piss cat piss so uh <laughs> shot g and them they get out the van me and my nigga like damn that's shot like what the fuck like damn shot so we just start getting on our base shit yeah da, da, da. you know what i'm saying all that you know, like on some real bay shit. Like we really from the bay and shit. Like you know, so we like yeah, da da da, da some some some. Got that cat piss, but we weren't saying we had the cat piss. We was asking Shock if he had the cat piss, but I guess all Shock heard was cat piss. So Shock come over to the gate. You know what I'm saying? We like, whoa, what's good? What's good? He hollering at us and shit. My nigga Shock grabbed the uh, the motherfucking fence. He trying to pull himself up so he could see who all up in this motherfucker. That nigga heard that word cat piss. He like, oh shit, like nigga, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? Like what's going down? So my nigga shot, he trying to climb the fucking fence. He heard cat piss, nigga. He like, what's up? Who up in this motherfucker, right? So that's funny as fuck to me and my nigga, right? So we laughing and shit all day, all night about this shit, right? Like this nigga shot down near climb the fence looking for that cat piss, right? So... They performing. We like it's like not seats, it's like standing room. So, but it's but it's packed though. But somehow we got to the front by the stage. But we got separated. So my homie down here, I'm at the other end. I'm like towards the middle. He towards like the end. But you know, we we close enough. Like if we reach, we could dap each other. We like that close. If we reached out real far, he reached out real far. He could we could dap each other. We about that close, right? So they come out, they do um, the song with Pac in the same song. They do the same song. 
So they doing the same song. And when they get to the part where uh, Pac rap, Shock G, you know, he noticed, I guess he noticed me from outside or whatever. And I'm talking about the cat piss and shit. So he take the mic and he he reached down into the crowd, like for me to say Pac Park. Now, from the time I first heard the same song to this day, it's only certain parts of that verse that I know. I clown around when I hang around with the other ground. And then then I get a little confused, but I could I can make it seem like I know what I'm saying. So I clown around when I hang around with the other ground. Girls used to frown. I don't know. I but I would say girls used to frown, say I'm down when I come around, but I know that's not the words. Harass me, used to gas me, used to diss me, harass me, but now they ask me if they could kiss me. I know that ain't the words. I know I fucked up somewhere in there. Get your fame. People change. Want to live your life, huh? I don't even know if that's right. But I can make it seem like I know what I'm saying. And then Shock say his little part. But I don't know the rest of the song. Get your fame. People change. Want to live your life, huh? That's all I know. So Shock starts saying some shit. Whatever the words is. I remember. Why too? Because it's the same song. Then that's when I know the rest right there, right? He reached back down for me to finish saying pop part. I just, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was saying. I just started saying some shit like, uh, I made, I made it sound like I was rapping it. I was harmonizing the shit basically, but that ain't the funny part. The funny part is my nigga Money B lit up a, uh, a joint on stage. Money G, Money B smoking fire ass shit, right? Money B. Hit the motherfucking joint. He see me. I guess he remember me too from the motherfucking over the fence. He hit that motherfucker. Pass it directly to me. So I'm like, oh shit. I'm smoking with the underground. Like, oh my goodness. My nigga Shaq let me say the verse. Now motherfucking money be passing me the joint. Like, damn. I'm, I'm in there, nigga. So I'm smoking. Smoking. Hit a few times. I didn't want to hog it. But, I, but, it, was, I, but it was some good ass weed. You know what I'm saying? But me being the nigga that I am, you know, I came to the show. This this not just my homie, I'm with this is my best friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like for life. Like from the time we was born, you know, our our aunties and his mom used to babysit both of us from the time we was born. So that's how long we knew each other from birth. So I'm hitting the shit. Me being a real nigga, I'm like, hey. I look at Money B, I'm like, hey, my nigga hit that. I think of money. She was like, "Nah, man, give me my weed." <laughs> nah, man, give me my weed, man. Like y'all motherfuckers doing too much now, bro. I'm like, okay. So all I do, but all I could do was bust out laughing and handing this shit back. Like, I, you know, I try. I looked at my nigga like I try. He like, hey, I feel you, money. At least you tried. So yeah, man. But that was a funny story. That was um, the other time I we met uh, Digital Underground, but. I just want to share that story because um, Shock G passed and um, there's some footage out there somewhere of that show because they I remember they was recording and he said um, that they was putting a documentary together. So there's probably some footage somewhere they got in the archives of that Toledo show and it might show me fucking up Pac Burst and um, Money B passing me the joint. But uh, yeah. I just wanted to share that story with y'all. I got some more stories too. Um, I got a B40 story. I got a Young Jeezy story. Uh, the Brat, Monica. Um, who else? T.I. Uh, I got a few stories. I can't think of them all right now. That E40 story, that's a good one too. That one, that one is, that was a good one. But I'll save it. And um, hopefully I'll get to it soon. So thanks for the uh, love. If you can, subscribe, like, and comment. Until next time, I'm out, 99.